Hello everyone, for today's video I have a Bista Village haul and these are all the things that I picked up recently from Bista Village when I popped there and there is one thing in particular I am so excited about I can't quite believe I have it because I wanted it for the longest time and I can't wait to share it with you so I'm going to stop rambling and I'm just going to jump straight into the haul. The first thing I want to show you is from Kate Spade and I really really love Kate Spade. I feel like for the price and the quality it's really great value. So it comes in this nice little box. I love when bags come in a box, I don't know, they just feel so much more, a little bit more luxurious and also I like to store them in the boxes as well because it keeps them nice. So if we take this out. So here is the bag. It's in this beautiful blush pink. This is actually made from leather. It's really nice and thick and it's really lovely. It has a long strap on it because I really wanted this for like evenings but I wanted it to be crossbody so I don't always have to carry it just in my hand or under my arm if I don't want to. So it does have a long handle, however, if you do want it just as a clutch, you can just remove this, which I think is great. The material does feel a bit more like canvas, but I've just checked and it is definitely leather. And um, it's actually quite roomy, as you can see, it is fairly wide, it's not tiny, and on the inside you have this zip pocket here. You have all the little pouches so you can pop your cards and any little bits and bobs. And there's more than enough room for like your phone and if you wanted to take lipstick, makeup, any bits and bobs, your car keys, house keys, they would all really easily fit in here. So I just thought it's a small bag but I can also fit everything I need inside because some of my small bags I feel like Oh, I don't really use them because I can't fit what I want inside so it kind of defeats the point of having them but this is beautiful and I'm so pleased with this. I think this was about a hundred pound maybe 95 pound I can't remember exactly but it was around 95 to 120 kind of in that area. The next store I went to is Gucci and this store can be really hit and miss not just the queues if you go at the wrong time if you go on a weekend in the day or actually generally any day of the week in the daytime you can queue for a long time so it's best to go there in an evening even the evenings on weekends aren't that busy um, and it's not just the queue to get in the queue to get in normally isn't as bad as it looks but it's the queue to pay can be really bad I mean I went there not this time I went there but the previous time that I went there the queue was going all the way to the door and that was to pay so actually I decided to not purchase what I was going to buy because it was just way too long so I went into Gucci and I picked up a bout so I've wanted a new bout I did want to get a Gucci bout however I didn't want to get the one that everyone has. I think it's a case of, you know, when you see something too many times, it either makes you love it more or it makes you not like it. And it kind of put me off. I feel like it's a very trendy piece that at some point is going to go out of fashion. I really wanted something that's going to be a bit more classic. Um, also with the bouts, they had a lot of different designs. They had the Gucci print with like the blue flowers and stuff like that. They also did have the classic GG in limited sizes. Um, they had quite a few with the red, the red bout with the classic GG. But I picked up this one, which I thought was lovely. So it's black leather, and I really like this kind of like texture on the leather. I think it's really nice. It feels really soft, and this is the buckle, which I thought is really nice. It's still got the two Gs for Gucci, but it's a little bit more subtle, I wanna say, and it's gold, which I really like. It's also reversible, so I've got a black little strap, and then I also have a pink one. So to actually make it reversible, it's really easy. It's just like this, so the black side, and you literally turn it, and then it goes onto the pink. So it's so, so easy, it goes really smoothly, and um, it's really great. I have added an extra hole into it, as you can see, I really wanted to be able to wear it on my hips but also on my waist if I've got maybe like a nice play suit or a dress that I want this to go around and kind of cinch me in at the waist. So that's why I have added an extra hole. I just thought I'd get a lot more wear out of it if I do that so I'm really glad I did. This was I believe £120. They did have some, you know the standard Gucci design, they had that embossed in lots of different colours. They had like red, pink, black 
that I think was 95, I think this was about 120, um, 125, something like that, which I thought was quite good. It's a great quality bow and I'll be able to wear it with lots of different outfits. Then on to another bag which I purchased from Coach. So Coach is another one like Kate Spade. I think their prices are a lot more affordable. They're still expensive, don't get me wrong, but they're a lot more affordable and the quality is great. So I think they're very good value for money. I really wanted a kind of more colorful summer bag, um, but I didn't want to spend a lot of money on a brand that is a lot more expensive if it's going to be like yellow or something because I won't get as much wear out of it. So it's this beautiful yellow leather bag. It feels so nice. It's that textured leather and it is beautiful. So it's quite big but it's also small. Again this is crossbody because I just wanted one that I can either wear crossbody or on a shoulder because it just makes it so much easier. I mean I have a lot of the thing is, is I have a lot of bags which I wear kind of like here on my elbow or on my shoulder. So I really wanted to kind of build up my crossbody collection a little bit more. So this is the strap. It's lovely and thick. It's not too thin, so it's not going to dig you in on your shoulders if you've got a lot in your bag. It's adjustable, so you can adjust it to the length of your bag because that can be a pain if, you know, on, on different heights it looks different. So that's really nice. Um, but I think it's great. It does have these two pockets. So the one at the back is a lot bigger. You can fit a lot in this. I mean, this is a great holiday bag as well because on holiday I like to take lots of stuff with me and I like a bag that is a bit more hard wearing. I don't have to baby and worry about so much. So this makes a great holiday bag um, and it also has this pocket on the inside here. But this one, the big one at the back, also has a little pouch and then you also have this if you want to put something in there. So I'm really pleased, really happy with this. This was around £250 and I'm really happy with it. I've been wanting some Timberlands, so I tried them on. And first I tried on the Chunky style and they just did not look good on me. They wouldn't go with so many pieces in my wardrobe. I just think... As much as I love them on other people, they didn't look as good on me as I was hoping they were going to look. And they weren't as comfortable as I thought. So um, I was kind of a little bit disappointed until I saw these babies. So these are the Timberland boots. They're in the classic tan colour. And these are the heeled version. And these are so comfortable. They look so nice. And I think they're a little bit more feminine because they have the heel. And I think it makes it a lot more suitable with my different clothes that I have. And all my coats and everything like that. They go really well with this because I just think the heel and they're a slightly slimmer design. However, at the same time, they are very classic. They're in the classic colour. They've got the leather around here and then they have the laces which are also in the classic style and colour as well. I absolutely love them. They're so comfortable. Honestly, you walk in these and it's like you're walking on something soft and cushioned. They're so comfy. They're so great. I absolutely love them. And these were £85. Moving on to the last thing that I bought, which is the piece that I'm most excited about. And I've always wanted these, one of these, and I'm just so excited and happy I finally have one in my wardrobe. And it is from Burberry. And yes, it's a very large bag, which means, mm, could be a number of things, but it is a Burberry coat. Oh my gosh, this is absolutely gorgeous. I really love the trench style Burberry coats. However, they are very thin because they are more made for spring. Um, however, I did find this one eventually, one that it was thicker but also had a very much trench style to it. So this is beautiful, here it is. I really love the style. I love that it's like double breasted. I love this at the top and all the little details on the shoulders, the back, you've got about to cinch you in at the waist, which is lovely. And then you've got like a zip pocket as well as a normal pocket. These are so soft inside. And then you've got the Burberry buttons. So these are metal buttons that say Burberry on them. I will insert a little photo here so you can see what it looks like on. Um, I have worn it already. I love it. I couldn't resist. As soon as I got it, I was like, I need to start wearing this out because I love it. It is beautiful. And I'm so, 
so pleased with this. So as I said, I picked it up in Vista Village, so there was a reduction. So this was £465, and I thought that was a great price. I got this in my normal size. I could have downsized, however, I wanted to be able to comfortably fit a kind of chunky jumper on if I wanted to. And when when I cinch it in, like put the belt so it cinches in my waist, it does gather the material slightly. However, I would prefer it to be more comfortable and fit me a bit nicer. Whereas the smaller size, I feel like it did go in a bit more and give me a little bit more shape. However, it was a bit more restricting, like moving the arms and I wouldn't be able to fit a thick, thick um, chunky jumper under it. So I am so happy. It is beautiful. Oh my goodness, this is, I'm so happy. I can't believe, it. I've always wanted a Burberry coat and I finally have one and I am so pleased because I've seen so many but I just haven't found that, I mean they're all beautiful but I haven't found one that I absolutely love and I fell instantly in love with this. I didn't actually originally go with the intention of buying one but I had a little brows and I can resist. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, please leave them down below about any of the items or Vista Village or anything like that. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new and I will see you next time. Bye.